I'm gonna have a little discussion about my inside waistband uh, Incog G code holster. Okay, IWB. The company that I went with is called G code. The uh, line of a uh, holster that this is is called the Incog. I believe it's I N C O G. I'm gonna po uh, post a couple of uh, descriptions for it. But uh, this is it. Okay, so you got the holster and you got a side rail for your magazine right here. Now, um, I believe this is a brown coat tactical customized belt. See, I put my own stitching on the side, but that's uh, it's sort of like a riggers belt. So you gotta have a good gun belt. But uh, this is the G-Code Incog holster. Um, as you can see, this is my belly button right here. So I keep my weapon exactly around 12 o'clock right in front of me because I have a magazine. So I have to allow enough space to be able to spread out everything. So I keep my weapon barrel at about 12 o'clock. Now, let's say this is my shit right here. So, so yeah, let's do a weapon check real quick for the haters. As you can see, my weapon is clear. All right, so the camera woman feels safe. Now, weapon in there, very nice. You see, I can get an excellent purchase on my weapon still. You have to be able to get a good purchase while it's still in the holster. I see a lot of people have their holster sitting down so low that the weapon is almost still inside your pants. If you, if you can notice, my weapon is halfway inside my pants and halfway out because I still got to get a good purchase on this weapon right here. As soon as I get a good purchase, boom. You have to be able to get a good purchase on it. That's going to play a lot in how your appendix carrying. So, a lot of people are concerned with when you sit down, you know, appendix carry. The gun or the weapon is going to be riding, I say it stops about right here on me. So that gives me a lot of room. When I sit down, I almost pick it up with my waist and then sit down and I'll demonstrate. I'll even do a squat. See, now here's a squat for you with the weapon still. It's another squat. So it all plays down into how your holster is going to ride with you. Your holster has to be able to ride with you and stay with you. This weapon is not going anywhere. This weapon is always in the same spot. You can't sag your pants and think you're going to hold a gun, you know, a heavy gun on you. You're not going to be able to use a, a flimsy a nylon belt or something like that that isn't a gun belt and hold the heavy weapon especially with an extra magazine so you paid a lot of money for the weapon you're gonna have to pay a little bit more money for the holster and for the the whole rig setup that you're carrying it with so I'm gonna do set up all with the weapon on me. So, if I can do all that with the weapon on me, I can definitely get down and ride and do whatever. You just have to be able to keep this bad boy on you at all times. And still be able to draw it. But mind you, this didn't just happen, you know, I, I didn't just go buy the stuff, throw it on and able to do this. I practice every single day. I'm practicing my draw. I'm practicing, I'm practicing, I'm practicing, I'm practicing. This is a weapon, it's not a toy. It's gonna to take some time and some uh, muscle memory for you to always get it right. I know as soon as it's right there, my weapon is always right here. It's like my penis, it's always in the same spot. I know where it is. I don't have to look down. I know it's right there. My weapon's right there. Same thing, like boom. You gotta practice and get it together. Come out.